WMMR. We're live at the Spectrum for Phantoms Hockey Action as they continue to kick butt and take names. We're just barely getting into the uh, second period, and it's 27 Music Marathon, which we are well on our way into. And uh, right now, we're getting shown some hospitality at Sweet M. What's your name, mister? Eric. Eric, nice to meet you. What's your name? Ryan. Patrick. Patrick. All right, who's this girl? Allie. Allie, I got a feeling you're about in trouble, girl. I know that much, yeah. Look at those big old eyes. All right, we got the Foo Fighters, my hero. Do you like the Foo Fighters? Yeah. Yeah, they kick some butt, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. And this is a song that Dave Grohl actually wrote for Kurt Cobain because he said that Kurt is my hero. Is he your hero? Yeah. That's a good answer. What am I talking about, right? It's 93.3. Can you see the WMMR? The WMMR. Well, put some feeling into it, kid. Spectrum for Phantom's Hockey Action as they go for the Calder Cup. broken into last time, right here, right on the straight. Fucking people down here. Oh my god. It's gonna be at least an hour before we go in. Now I know why people pay to park so their car doesn't get ripped off.
y'all. Everybody running around, getting all into the rumpus. Just you know, watch out for each other. It's gonna be the spirit. The spirit is going to come together, have a good time, but don't want to get hurt. Not violence. You know what I'm saying? I don't know.
Nice shiner, man. How did you get that? I got cracked with a bat. You know what? I lost my tooth. I stick some bubble gum in it. It looks perfect. Perfect. That's pretty good. What happened to you? You get beat up or what? Yeah, I took a bat in the cheek, you know? For what? What were you doing? Anything? Uh, I was at the wrong part at the wrong time. Yeah, that's obvious. You know what? Uh, but it's all right, though, because you know what? I got a couple G's waiting on it. Dig it, man. I got a plastic surgeon with no front teeth. Me and him get along well. <laughs> yeah, take that shit. Yeah, take that. John's just walked up. You can get that on fucking film, what's yeah, up? Yeah, I did. How is it? Did you hear me, dude? Yeah. 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 shit. I know, it's hideous. No, it's hideous, dude. The walk around. Hey, watch. Come out. Just give me two minutes on it. Are you taping? Go for it. Go on, dude. Okay, check it out. This, this for you and Dave Letterman. I got beat up the other day, lost my tooth, got a black eye, but I got a substitute. It takes a little bit of bubble gum, a little bit of coin, which is in cents, and uh, this is what you get with 25 cents worth of bubble gum. A new tooth. A new tooth out of 25 cents. Forget the dentist. This is what the dentist don't want to see. 25 cents a tooth. Give me a minute. Perfect, dude. Can't even no, tell. No, no, no time, time out. By the time I finish, you will not be able to tell. You don't even tape it. It's on, dude. Believe me. This tooth came straight from California, Bakersfield. 250 bucks, huh? No, 25 cents. Nah, man. Capturing the afternoon. You're the man, yeah. All the trash. Dude, I am. It's on. Yeah, 
other side. You're in now. Say what you what you what you want what you want. Say ten dollars, eleven dollars that I found on the ground, and I'll tell you what else I found. Oh fuck, it's only one. Twelve dollars. No, it's not. I swore it's for five. See, I found another five, a ten. And two one is seventeen dollars. Billy Club? It's not shot. Right there, man. and standing right there.
do is reach in and grab that fucker. This sucked and I would never go see him again. <coughs> I spent fifty dollars on a ticket, but I found seventeen fifty six on the floor. So you figured it out. And then plus I paid eight dollars to park, fifty dollars on a ticket, plus gas, wear and tear on the car. Losers that hang out after the show, what would you like to say? You waiting for the Beastie Boys or are you gonna book? How long do you think they're gonna come out? Never know. An hour? Ten minutes? Probably gonna jump on their bus and book up to New York. Not nah, DC, right? They're going to the Tibetan Freedom Show. When is that? Saturday. It's this Saturday? Yeah. Are you, how much are tickets? Sold out. Yeah, but don't, can't you buy a ticket that you camp over? Isn't it like Saturday and Sunday? Yeah. Sold out. How much for tickets? I don't know. It sold out when I called. I called DC Ticketmaster and I called those, you know, freaking agency fucking rip off fucking shit. And they didn't have anything? No. Nope. They didn't even have some fucking three times priced over shit, so, you know? You could probably go down there and scalp them, but they probably wouldn't let you anywhere near the place. Where are they having it? The, uh... Washington Stadium, what's it, JFK or RFK Stadium? I don't know, I have no idea. Oh, if it's in a stadium, no, we can't, no, it's not in a stadium, it's like in an open place, I assume. Is it? Like in a Woodstock type place. You know? Oh, that would be cool, man. Like, wouldn't it have to be? How else could they have, like, a two-day could, fest? Well, they let everybody in all night to, like, the bands would play to, like, one or two, then, then everybody go out to sleep and then just have it the next day, like, it started at 10 or 11, you know, and just go all day long. They, they've done it before. I thought it was like an all-general mission type thing. I don't know. If they had it in the state, Well, you can't party in the stadium either. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I'd like to know where it is. I'm sure there'll be a lot of news coverage on it. Yeah, I'm going to try to get the stadium. I think it'll be worth it. It'll just be worth it. I mean, Washington's, what, an hour and a half? Exactly. I mean, so, like, what's the point of just trying, you know? I would. Exactly. I'm going to try. I feel it's worth it.
Wasn't such a bad night after all. Here comes the cops right now. Get the fuck out of here, motherfucker! Got a Philadelphia police officer's Billy Club. <laughs> I hope that we broke into my car this time. Driving a Honda. Fuck, I got like 15 watches on. Look, nobody fucking fucking the last one here too. What time? Is it? Up. Here comes that cop. Let's get out of here. My luck, a fucker coming over here. There's a lot coming on. Then you should feel great about going to Somerset Live. Live entertainment with no cover. Friday and Saturday DJ dance parties on the second floor sports lounge and a kitchen that can ask in jumbo shrimp, buffalo wings, and their special big daddy sauce or Philadelphia's best Texas style barbecue ribs. Monday and Wednesday, 6 to 8 p.m. means all you can munch wings. Somerset's Live offers dollar pint specials for Phillies games, the NBA Finals, and throughout the day. Next time you and gang are going out, head to Somerset's Live. Open Monday through Saturday with easy access on I-95 and just up the road from Delaware Avenue. Take Richmond Street to Somerset Street and you're only a half a block away. Somerset's Live is currently looking for a few good fans. If your band up to the challenge, give Ben Johnson a call at 427-9510. It's time to rock a new venue at Somerset's Live. Hey, why is this? Yeah, I'm Satan. Satan, how you doing? Long time we, we haven't heard from you in a while. Yeah, our good buddy, where are you calling from, Satan? Where are you calling from? Wow. Thanks a lot, buddy. Uh, Northeast Philly, right? No, West Philly, that's hell. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, sorry. Satan, what is your message for the world? Everyone's gonna die. Oh, really? Over your radio station. Make lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're actually our boss then. And I will drink all your beer. And then how will you celebrate? <laughs> Very interesting. Billy Corrigan. Um, I guess the giving type. They'll be uh, invading the Tower Theater July 28th. And of course, Led Zeppelin on 93.3 WMMR. Frank Lario right here in the seat. Wallflowers set up ready. Log on to the homepage of Rock and Roll. Find out what's happening inside the home of Rock and Roll. People are going to the bank now. It's quarter of one. That's the crowd you should videotape. It's not played there. Silk City. Fuck, I just hit a bag.
but I got a video. I thought they sucked. Like I said, I'll fucking wouldn't go see them again. Too much acid music. It's too slow. Can't wait to fucking go see Slayer on Saturday night. Friday. What's Friday? I was hoping something was Friday. Go to that. But I don't know. I'm saving the rest of the tape though. So later. It's something I'll have for the rest of my life. David works hard for his money. So when we started shopping, people are so loud, man. I was concerned. I just have to make a scene all the time. Phil Wax is in jail, too. I don't know why, but he is. Hi, boys and girls. That was Beastie Boys. On the Beastie Boys. $50 for a ticket. But I found this quartz watch. I think I'm gonna start collecting watches. Quartz watch. And I found five dollar bill. Fifty dollars for tickets and eight dollars to park. And this is everything that I found. And I found another watch. I found another watch too. Professional 200 meter. That's a nice watch. A little scratched up. That's a nice watch. See that? That's a nice watch. And I found this other nice watch. And this fucking guy picked it up. He goes, is this your watch, lady? She's like, no, that's not it. Wingard. 50. That's a little scratched up, too. And I found a dollar and change. A dollar. 25, 30, 1, and I found a $10 bill by the bar, no lie, and then I found a $5 bill where they were buying t-shirts, and then I found two other dollars, so that's 17, 18 dollars, 36 cents, so 30 dollars, Oh, I spent eight dollars to park, so sixty dollars, twenty dollars, forty dollars for that tape. Well, if I sell two copies of the tape and these watches, this is a nice one. I'm gonna start collecting watches. So many watches I can find. I, like I told you, I found another one, but the guy picked it up and kept it. Fucking dickhead. Some nice watch. The one all scratched up. And ten, and fifteen, sixteen, seventeen dollars. Two, 215 South New Street is our address. So, see. Running out of tape, Jake. Went to Uncle Dave's today and got this bookshelf. Trying to tape my Slayer tape. Won't tape. Here's my Racy dolls. She got Beaver. And she got titties, but my mom keeps. Nipples. She nice pink nipples. And a hairy bush. See your hairy bush? Baby, it's Marie and me in San Francisco. My buddy over here, he don't talk back. Now, I'm staying up all night. I don't even 
listen to these. Snot. Megadeth. Slayer. Joe Satriani. Jora Flies. BB King. Texas. Just got this the other day. Gonna see them on Saturday. Well, there's one minute left. Nice seeing you. Nice knowing you. Nice talking to you. And I'll see you next time here on Steve TV. See you later, man. Wouldn't want to be you. Peace, love. And another thing I got out of a police van was this nice little fucking villain club that could have beat the shit out of that guy with. <laughs> would have knocked myself down, motherfucker. It's too small, man, but it would hurt, man. It's like hard plastic. It bends. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Got new teeth today. I got a new hairdo today. The end of the Beastie Boys tape. Time for a change. I'm a new man as of today, January, June 20th, 2nd, 1998.